the VL2600 series LED engine SE upgrade. Estimate the time 10 to 20 minutes. Caution static sensitive devices not to be handled by an authorized personnel. Tools required a number two Phillips screwdriver, small side cutters, small cable ties, Pegasus uploader cable. Disconnect the fixture from the mains. Remove both head covers, four screws in total. Toolbox tip. Note how the safety tether is run for reassembly. Position the nose of the fixture pointing down and lock off the pan and tilt. This will allow you to work on the lead engine. Using your snips, remove the cable tiles that are holding the cable looms to the lead engine chassis as highlighted below. Remove the power and data going into the LED control and let the wiring loom hang loose. Locate the earth tether screw and remove it with a number two Phillips screwdriver. Using a small flat bladed screwdriver, remove the 41 volts live and neutral cables going into the LED driver card. With the cables now released, pull up to remove them from the connector. Pull the lava neutral up between the cable run gap. Move the lava neutral to one side so you have access to the connector. On the Molex connector, there is a small clip. With your thumb, push the clip in and pull the connector up. The connector is now free. All cables going into the LED module have now been disconnected. With your fixture still in the lock position, using your number two Phillips screwdriver, remove the following four M4 screws. Holding the LED assembly, Remove the M4 screw as shown. Still holding the lead assembly, remove the last M4 screw. Please note that the lead assembly is now detached from the chassis and will move when releasing the screw. The lead assembly is now removed. Repeat the process in reverse, installing your new upgraded lead assembly. Once you have completed the installation of your new LED engine, it is recommended you test and install the latest software for your fixture. You will also require a Pegasus upload cable and install a software to send this firmware to your fixture. The fixture firmware and installer can be found on the Very Light website. Under the home bar, go to support and scroll down to software downloads. Here, you'll find all the latest software and firmware for your fixture. With the uploader cable now inserted into your fixture and connected to your PC, open the Pegasus software. You'll be presented with the following screen. Your fixture should automatically pop up in the device window. If it does not appear here, Click on the scan devices and it should now appear. Your fixture has been discovered and is showing in a device window. Make sure you have selected very light. Click on the select folder. This will pop up an external Microsoft search window. Now select the file or folder that you have downloaded the VL2600 SE Legend Upgrade firmware. The software file that you have selected will now appear under Update Files. 
Now make sure you have selected normal and not high speed. You can now click on update devices. You'll see a progress bar appear as the software that you have selected has been sent to the fixture. On the fixture's display, you'll notice the fixture receiving the update. Once the software has been sent to your fixture, the following will appear on your fixture's display. Do not power off the fixture. The fixture enters into bootloader sequence and the software is sent to each board. This process takes approximately 5 minutes. We have shortened this down to 45 seconds for instructional purposes. Once the software has been taken, your fixture will then restart. And there we have it. Your fixture has now taken the software and will reboot. Selecting SE mode through the service menu. Now that your fixture has been upgraded with the new software, you now need to turn on SE mode via the fixture menu system. The following steps will show you where to navigate to achieve this. Press escape at the VL2600 menu display. Scroll down to service and press OK. You'll be asked to provide a password to gain access into these settings. Using the up, down, left, right arrows, enter the password 2606. Now scroll down to Upgrade to SE LED and press OK. Scroll to Set SE and now press OK and pressing Escape, return to the main splash display screen. You will now notice at the bottom of the menu system that the fixture shows SE. Added with your new Core Charge VL2600 SE upgraded engine, you would have received a label pack as shown. Peel off the VL2600 SE upgraded label and place it on the user interface screen of your fixture. You also have been given a free sustainability sticker to use at your own discretion. Toolbox tip. You can place your VL sustainability sticker to the base of the fixture's upper enclosure for easy identification.